Every day, more than 100,000 vehicles squeeze through one of the most congested stretches of highway on the U.S. East Coast in southeastern Virginia. Originally built in 1957 to serve a modest 6,000 cars per day, this aging structure has become a daily bottleneck for commuters, choking economic productivity and fraying the nerves of drivers caught in hour-long jams. But now, an audacious solution is taking shape beneath the water, a billion-dollar engineering feat that will bore deep under the harbor and transform how the region moves. What does it take to drill a tunnel large enough to accommodate a highway beneath the Atlantic tide? And how do you expand a 60-year-old lifeline without shutting it down? The Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel expansion is a bold attempt to future-proof a vital artery of American infrastructure. From colossal tunnel boring machines to unprecedented logistical challenges, this is the story of how one of the country's most traffic-clogged corridors is being reborn, one mile at a time. Before we start, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The story of the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel begins in the early 20th century, when southeastern Virginia's industrial and military expansion underscored the need for a reliable connection between Norfolk and Hampton. Initially reliant on ferries, the region faced increasing transportation bottlenecks, especially after World War II, as population and economic activity surged. In response, the Commonwealth of Virginia launched a bold plan to build a fixed crossing over the Hampton Roads Harbor, one of the world's largest natural harbors and home to a critical U.S. Navy base. To avoid disrupting naval traffic, engineers pursued an innovative solution, an immersed tube tunnel. When the HRBT opened in 1957, it became the world's first bridge tunnel complex, spanning 3.5 miles with bridges on each end and a submerged tunnel in the middle. This engineering marvel quickly became vital to the region, but by the 1960s, traffic already exceeded its capacity. In 1976, a parallel tunnel and bridges were added, doubling capacity to four lanes. Yet congestion remained relentless, especially by the 1990s, when daily commutes became a major frustration. Recognizing the growing economic cost of gridlock, the Virginia Department of Transportation explored long-term solutions. In 2016, it approved an ambitious expansion of the existing HRBT, widening the I-64 corridor and constructing a parallel tunnel system. This massive effort would mark the largest highway construction initiative in Virginia's history. The Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel expansion is not just a routine upgrade, it is an infrastructure mega-project with wide-reaching implications for transportation, commerce, and national security in southeastern Virginia. Stretching nearly 10 miles along the I-64 corridor, the project will significantly enhance traffic flow between Hampton and Norfolk. At the heart of the project is the construction of two brand-new parallel board tunnels beneath the harbor. These tunnels, each carrying two lanes of eastbound traffic, are being built alongside the existing eastbound immersed tube tunnel, effectively doubling capacity in that direction. Once complete, the original eastbound tunnel will be converted to westbound use, providing four lanes in each direction across the entire crossing. This massive increase in capacity is expected to cut travel delays by as much as 50% during peak hours. But the tunnel is just one part of the expansion. The project also includes a comprehensive overhaul and widening of the I-64 roadway leading to and from the tunnel portals. This involves expanding the highway from four lanes to eight lanes between Settlers Landing Road in Hampton and the Interstate 564 interchange in Norfolk. The new configuration will include two general purpose lanes, an express lane, and a part-time shoulder express lane in each direction. Another major component involves replacing or reconstructing over 20 existing bridges and overpasses along the corridor. These new bridges are being built to modern safety standards and will be designed to handle higher volumes of traffic and heavier freight loads, with seismic resilience and storm surge protection in mind. Ultimately, 
The HRBT expansion isn't just a traffic fix. It's a long-term investment in the region's economic vitality, national security, and resilience, setting the foundation for a more connected and competitive southeastern Virginia. One of the most groundbreaking aspects of the HRBT expansion is the method chosen to create the new tunnels. Unlike the original HRBT, which was built using the immersed tube method, where prefabricated tunnel segments were sunk into a dredged trench on the seabed, the expansion project employs a state-of-the-art tunnel boring machine. This marks the first time a TBM has ever been used to construct a highway tunnel in Virginia. The TBM, affectionately named Mary, in honor of Mary Winston Jackson, a trailblazing NASA mathematician and Hampton native, is a true engineering marvel. Stretching nearly 46 feet in diameter and over 430 feet in length, the machine is custom-built to navigate the complex geology beneath the Hampton Roads Harbor. It operates like a mobile underground factory, boring through clay, silt, and sand, while simultaneously installing concrete tunnel segments to form a watertight lining as it advances. Launched from the South Island in April 2023, Mary began her journey by slowly carving a path beneath the harbor toward the North Island. The first tunnel took approximately one year to complete, with the machine expected to be rotated and reused to bore the second parallel tunnel heading in the opposite direction. Above ground and across the water, equally complex construction is underway. The project involves widening over nine miles of Interstate 64, which includes demolishing and rebuilding aging bridge structures, reconfiguring interchanges, upgrading drainage systems, and installing intelligent transportation systems for real-time traffic management. The bridges that lead to and from the Tunnel Islands are also being entirely rebuilt. These tasks must be performed while keeping the existing highway open to daily traffic, requiring intricate traffic phasing and temporary diversions that change by the week or even by the day. As of today, the expansion project has achieved several significant milestones marking a transformative phase in Virginia's largest transportation endeavor. By April 2024, the tunnel boring machine Mary completed the first of two new tunnels, breaking through to the North Island after a year-long excavation. Following a six-month turnaround, Mary resumed operations in October 2024 to bore the second tunnel toward the South Island, with completion anticipated by late summer or early fall 2025. Simultaneously, significant progress has been made on the bridge structures. In May 2024, the new eastbound North Trestle between Hampton and the North Island opened to traffic. This bridge is designed with increased height to reduce saltwater exposure, enhancing its durability and lifespan. Work continues on the westbound North Trestle and the South Trestle, with traffic expected to be diverted onto these new structures in the latter half of 2025. Funding the largest transportation project in Virginia's history is no small feat. The overall budget for the HRBT expansion currently stands at $3.9 billion, a figure that has gradually increased from its original projections due to inflation, supply chain pressures, and scope modifications. Despite these adjustments, the project remains fully funded thanks to a diverse coalition of backers. The lion's share of the funding approximately $3.5 billion, is being provided by the Hampton Roads Transportation Accountability Commission. This regional authority was established in 2014, specifically to fund large-scale transportation improvements using revenue from local sales and fuel taxes collected across the Hampton Roads area. The state of Virginia, through the Virginia Department of Transportation, is also contributing significant funds supplemented by allocations from the Commonwealth Transportation Fund. In addition, the project has secured over $200 million in federal funding, including grants and loans from programs such as the Infrastructure for Rebuilding America and the Transportation Infrastructure Finance and Innovation Act. To incentivize timely completion, the contract includes a $90 million bonus for achieving substantial completion by September 2026. However, due to construction complexities and unforeseen challenges, 
The project's substantial completion date has been revised to February 2027, with final completion expected by August 2027. As the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel expansion progresses, its future outlook is poised to significantly enhance transportation infrastructure in southeastern Virginia. The project's completion is anticipated to alleviate long-standing traffic congestion, improve travel time reliability, and boost regional economic growth. By increasing capacity along the I-64 corridor, the expansion aims to accommodate the area's growing population and commercial activities. Additionally, the improved infrastructure is expected to support the operations of the Port of Virginia and nearby military installations, reinforcing the region's strategic importance. With these advancements, the HRBT expansion is set to transform mobility and connectivity for residents and travelers alike. What are your thoughts on this infrastructure project? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.